Okay, let's look at this figure. If I do this, I'll make sure you know it's a rectangle. I'll do this. So you know it's a rectangle. If I put this line through the middle, does it have a line, a vertical line of symmetry? Okay, yes, it does have a vertical line of symmetry, and I've shown you. What that means is that this side is the same as this side. Okay, what if I take the same figure? And I draw that. Does this have a line of symmetry, yes or no? Okay, yes. yes, it does. This is exactly the same as this. So it has a vertical line of symmetry, and it has a horizontal line of symmetry. What about that? Does it have a diagonal line of symmetry? But the way it is now, it's not a line of symmetry. That means if you cut something down the middle, this side is like a mirror of this side. It should be able to flip over the line. If I fold it this way, well, it's not cut perfectly. But if I fold it this way, are both sides the same? Yes. Okay, so there's my vertical line of symmetry. If I fold it this way, are both sides going to be the same? Yes. Okay, so now I have a horizontal line of symmetry. But if I fold it point to point, there's my diagonal fold. Is that a line of symmetry? No. No, it doesn't fold basically. It doesn't have, so if I took this line and I cut this and flipped it over or I folded it right where that line is, it does not have a line of symmetry. Okay? So my shape of a rectangle has a vertical line of symmetry, a horizontal line of symmetry, but not a diagonal line of symmetry, right? Today's lesson is 10-5. Go ahead. One type of symmetry found in geometric shapes is a line of symmetry. This, oh, this sign is in the hills above Hollywood, California. Do the letters in the Hollywood sign show lines of symmetry? So don't answer that out loud. We're going to go through it. The shape has line symmetry if it can be folded about a line so that its two equal parts match exactly. So if I can draw a line anywhere in the whole thing and fold it, it would have a line of symmetry. In this case, you can tell that it wouldn't have a line of symmetry because we'd lose it at the Y, right? And then we would also at the L's and we would at the W's, but, but. I'm talking about the whole Hollywood sign first. Oh. Just the whole Hollywood sign does not have a, a line of symmetry. A fold line or line of symmetry divides a shape into two parts that are the same size and shape. So again, it's that fold like I did with the paper. If we look at um, the letter H, do we see any line of symmetry, vertical, horizontal, or diagonal lines of symmetry on that one? Okay, what line of symmetry, if any, do you see, Tara? Vertical, horizontal, or diagonal? Vertical. Vertical, so I can go right through the middle here. Yep. Any other line of symmetry on this one? Nicholas. Um, horizontal. Horizontal. Through the H in the middle right there, right? So that definitely has a horizontal and a vertical. Does it have a diagonal line of symmetry? No. No, it does not. If we folded it along the H here, I don't think it would because it looks kind of rectangular shape. If the H was a square, it might work. I don't know. It wouldn't. I don't think it would either. So it does not have a line, a, hor a diagonal. What about the O? Horizontal. Any others? Paris. Diagonal. Diagonal. Let's see. It almost looks like it should, but when it folds, this part of the, the O will go over here. So it wouldn't fold over. So there's no diagonal. There's a horizontal. Is there a vertical class? Yes. Okay, yes. what about the L? No. no. You guys have already been checking it out? Yeah. 
So there is none on the L. We can't do this. We can't do this. And we definitely can't diagonal. So those two, no. What about the Y? Ooh, I got some. I got some yeses and some noes. Raise your hand if you have decided that yes, it does. Is it a vertical line of symmetry or a horizontal? Vertical. Right, right through the middle. Okay, look at the W. Line of symmetry or no? Yes. And is it going to be vertical or horizontal? Vertical. <coughs> right through that middle again. We've already done the O's. We have a vertical and a horizontal. Look at the D. A horizontal. There we go. Does it have a vertical? No. It looks kind of like the O's, and the O's have a vertical. What about it tell, makes you think that it would not be a vertical line of symmetry? I like his explanation. He said this line is straight and this side curves. So when you fold them, you, they're not going to match. You can start testing out ways of folding it. We tried we, if we folded it this way, even if we did here, we know that it would not make a line of symmetry. We can do it this way, and we can see we're going to have a piece hanging over. Even if we did a diagonal line through the middle, this would fold and sit right about here. Do you guys see that? If this was my L, then this would actually have a line of symmetry. Do you guys see that? Yes. Because if that was my paper when I folded them together, it would be kind of like that part of the W. It would fold right into itself. But being this big, when you fold that, it's going to land here, so it's not <coughs> symmetrical. Okay. Do the parts of the L match here? No. Does it match here? No. Does it match here? No. So the letter L does not have a line of symmetry. Which letters have line of symmetry? So let's go through it. Did H? Yes. yes. How many different lines? Two. 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 It had a vertical and a horizontal. Did the O? Yes. How many? Two. 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 What about the, the L's did not. Did the Y? Yes. How many? One. Did the W? Yes. How many? One. And we did the O's already. Did the D? No. Yes. No. Yes, the D had a horizontal, remember? It had this one. 